You did this amazing piece in The Gothamist, uh, Prisoners Endure a Nightmare Gulag in Lower Manhattan, Hidden in Plain Sight. And we've talked quite frequently on this show from the Khalif Browder case at Rikers. Now Rikers is closing uh, in 2026, which I think is it's going to take far too long. But there's, that's not the only nightmare in this city. Tell us about this particular um, federal courthouse. And I think this is the place where um, Jeffrey Epstein mm -hmm. uh, was found to commit suicide. I, I don't want to call it suicide. I'll say know. murder. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Cena. <laughs> Cena Gasm Gasnavi is here. All right. Tell, tell us what you found. Uh, sure. Well, I wrote this story. It was published uh, in the summer of 2018, so before Epstein's death. Um, and MCC, if you're not, if you've never heard of it, or if you didn't hear of it before Epstein died, it's located um, near City Hall, sort of just behind City Hall, just a five minute walk from there, if that. Um, a lot of you New Yorkers don't even know it exists, but it holds about 800 federal detainees, so people awaiting trial on federal charges. And what I found, I interviewed about a dozen people who were held there, and also some human rights advocates and some lawyers, and I found that prisoners there were subject to filthy and humane uh, conditions. So one thing I found is that there were a lot of infestations. Prisoners dealt with uh, infestations of, of roaches, of mice, of mold. Uh, second, I found that the, the guards were often uh, violent and capricious. Um, third, wait, I had points and I had a third point. Don't worry about it. That <laughs> is disgusting. Oh, I, right. And so <laughs> I remembered my point okay, now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, the third point was that um, this is was maybe the thing that disturbed me the most is that the plumbing breaks all the time. So men have reported having to defecate in bags that were later removed from the facility. Um, women just last spring told me that this because of the poor plumbing, sewage would kind of come up through the floors and they'd have to clean it up with their hands. Ugh. Um, and so Manhattan, and this is prevalent throughout the country, so it's not germane to New York. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a facility similar to Rikers where you're there until you get a trial or is this? Yeah, it's basically where people are held uh, before or during their trial. So it's also so they're not I'll guilty. No, no, they haven't been convicted of and, their crime. And I think this is important because we live in a nation, you know, seen as a law lawyer where you're innocent until proven guilty. But in that you don't imagine that you could be treated like a subhuman before you've been convicted. And not that, you know, I think if you're guilty, you should probably have like Alcatraz type, you know, this is a deterrent. But for someone like a Khalif Browder who was 16 years old, was never charged to have to go through brutality that he did that then led him to commit suicide, you know that there's something going on here. Why don't people care? Because these folks are ostensibly innocent. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I think that's a hard question. I think one reason people don't care is because there's this whole um, push and pull between how we feel about guilty people or innocent people and how we feel about people based on what crime they're accused of. Mm -hmm. So El Chapo was also held there. Oh, and this is I mean, I write a lot about what terrorism suspects, people charged with terrorism offenses, experience at MCC, which is they basically they were held on the same unit. El Chapo was held in complete isolation from the outside world. I mean, they can't they have no contact with the media. Not even their attorneys are permitted to speak to the media. So I think that we really have to examine, well, yeah, we care about Khalif Browder, of course. He's a 16-year-old who he was charged with stealing a backpack. But what about people charged with much more serious crimes? Um, like, are we going to live in a country where someone like Epstein, we can kind of hold the idea that he did something horrible or he's accused of doing something horrible, but he should still be held in humane conditions? Yeah, we're not talking about Club Med here. We're just talking, yeah. just, can we just raise the level of humanity just a little bit here? Have you found anything around the Eighth Amendment and cruel and unusual punishment being brought up with this? Because they're not actually convicted yet, but they are in these kinds of con conditions. Yeah, I mean, I think there have been a couple of lawsuits filed around medical conditions at MCC. There was one guy who had hit the top, like his fingertip cut off by a door at MCC. Oh. And instead of just like putting him in an ambulance, the guards shackled him like on his feet and on his hands and brought him to the hospital that way. Um, and so women who are pregnant often get, get that treatment. And I know Topeka Sam, yeah. who is on our channel, she and a number of people have fought for women to be able to not be shackled while they're delivering babies, um, which you would think is common sense, but no, it's not.